Give me a second, everybody. For those who join, give me a second, and we will start as soon as possible. I have a few things I need to set up. I'm sorry for the lateness, but I will try my best to keep it up to date. At least try to in the future. So I will see you in a few minutes. Give me a second, Hannah. I will be right back. I need to take care of a few things. So I will be right back. Don't worry. Okie dokie, I have returned, and without a further undo, we will continue on with the chaos that is. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to turn that off. Get that. that there. And welcome back, Hannah. Where did I? Oh, yeah, that's right, the resistance ship.
Hey, welcome back, Hannah. Oh, this is gonna be a long side mission. Okay. Where are we going first? Yeah, I know. Yes, I have hair. I'm not balding. You may have called me old before, but I'm not that old. And yes, I did have a haircut, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not old. If I'm old, that makes you two years younger than me. That makes you just as old. You are old, okay? In comparison to a toddler, you are old. No, I'm not calling you a toddler. I'm saying in comparison to a toddler, you are old. I'm not calling you young, I'm calling you old. The fuck? Yeah, no, the heavy breathing. Oh god, I gotta deal with more- wait a minute. Is, do I see- Fuck's sake, I gotta deal with more of these assholes. Fuck's sake. the fuck is boof what in the act what the hell is boof what the you're still not explaining what the fuck is boof you're not explaining these things You're more confusing than the other friends I have, and they're pretty damn confusing. So, speaking of which, how have things been? Shit. Did you go through with it? Did you finally do it? And congratulations. You're finally one of the older people.
did he say anything about it? Because if he did, if he did not, he should be fine. Because if, oh, that's the thing though. Did you have fun at least? Oh shit. Okay, fine, let's go. Miss me, bitch. Well, if you had fun, that's all that matters. Oh, sorry, if you both had fun. Better you did it too much, because it can be one of two things. But yeah, I, I don't care about the reaction. Cool. <laughs> I was gonna say, you that embarrassed of him? Okay, I don't have to press the button. There's nothing up here. Okay. The next spot is this guy. There's one more, isn't it? Right. But no, to answer your question, or not question, but answer what you said earlier. Yeah, no, you didn't, you either, one of two things, you either broke it, oh. Something's going on over there. You still believe in the boogeyman, huh? Fucking pussy. Look, I scare you because you just jumpy. There's no other reason, you're just jumpy. Thank you. Yeah, this was not the original haircut design I was trying to go for. I was last time. Uh, why am I still looking over here? I'm still. I made the new camera angle and everything, as you can tell. 
Fuck it. Go up here, I'll be fine. You missed. Open the fucking door. Yes, heavy breathing because I'm out of stamina. Speaking of which, how's school going? What, what was your most recent break? How'd you do that? was close. Oh, you performed one of those acts. Okay. Trust me, I used to be in a choir class. I almost did that myself. How high was the fall? About 10 feet? Hmm... Yeah, the larger the... the... fuck was that? About 10 feet? Hmm. That's a pretty good fall. I'll, I'll give you credit for that one. If it was less than that, I would have given you a whole bunch of crap. It's like, really? Less than 10 feet and you get, still got a broken arm? I'm not going to be that much of a jackass. Rifle scope. But no, that's a pretty good fall.
Well, at least I'm giving you a good laugh, so I can give you that. Also, speaking of which, oh, we have this another person to come in. Well, the, for the second person that's in here, welcome, welcome, welcome. More than like, I mean, it could be a Twitch bot, so you never know. And don't ask why I have so many grenades. Just don't. It's better not to know. Cycling station. This is why. Going to here. Go to equipment. Trying to unlock all these. And I need another... Let's see. 80 plus 80, that's 160. 320... I need 360 more uh, schematic points to unlock everything else. And all those grenades was from trying to unlock like this entire half. So. And then the weapon augmentation says just to change the way your weapon is. Plus, with the amount of grenades I have, they work great when going up against uh, bigger enemies. I was like, eh, why would I want to waste grenades or waste making grenades and all that? Yeah, come to find out, it's a lot more helpful than you think. Yes, bigger. The guys you saw were about average size. The beginning robots that you see. The beginning three you be start with is the ticks. Yes, the bigger enemies, the four-legged and the two-leggeds. And then he also got the other side, the Russian robots, which are flyers, uh, uh, packers, um, quite a few, I think there's a couple other ones. Oh, and the rollers. Well, the dog, the enemies I was facing earlier, those were basic enemies. The ones you face towards the beginning of the game. You got your ticks, uh, dogs, and hunters. What we got in here? Oh my god. Look at that, sh Hannah. Look at that. You got yourself a good skirt. <laughs> Yay. This is the way my character looks currently. I was going to say, I highly doubt you've seen... Um, what's a, what's the game, movie show? What do you ever want to call it? The Walking Dead. Uh, the one guy that wears basically this entire... This attire. What do you mean, oh, so you in right now? What are you talking about? Okay. I swear, you're getting more and more confusing by the minute. God damn it. Okay, sleep well. Good night.
can't say much. He's just stuck me. else? Does anybody else want to play? No? Good. So that's what this area was for. How tall is this thing?
God damn it. Oh well. Hmm. How did I enter combat? Missions. Oh. Oh, I missed one. How did I? Wait, how did I miss that one? Hmm. Apparently, I missed one. One viewer that's currently in here, welcome, welcome, welcome.
Let's see what I got. Okay, get in. Wait, what? Assault rifle extension. HP five, an HP five extension. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Molly Pipi. Okay, let's see. The first thing we do for business is go here. Wait. Yeah, we can't go there. Nope, let's fast travel there, then go to that safe house, then we'll just start bouncing through safe houses, start collecting them. Starting to become old gold. Call me gold man. Okay, the next thing we do is straight ahead. Perfect. Straight ahead. Fucking lovely. 
Oh shit, you got a two legged. the Martin King. Where's my full metal? Where's my 556? Maybe a blue, but guess what? I will take it with pleasure. Perfect. is not an aging.
Mm, this guy. God damn it. I will destroy this man if it's the last thing I do. <coughs> I could get more let's see from my understanding I can get more damage from this guy than I can from this guy so what I did was waste my entire time
Oh, that! Oh, that's the other safe house. Oh, wait a minute. Stone ring. Now that we got that... Really wish we could swim. It would make it more easier. Speaking of which, don't I have, like, some skills? Nope, I have no skill. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's what good mac and cheese smell so, smell like. Yes, that's what it smell like. That's what good mac and cheese sound like. There we go. That did nothing. Welcome to the church.
Vestir-se um. Hey, Carl. Oh, sorry, Fido. No, I don't want the bike. See, that's surprising. Faster if I just walk. Come on, Carl. Your name on here may be Fido, but your name is Carl now. That don't sound good. Two two leggeds. Hey, thanks for the cover. Place a waypoint there. have to go and
Okay, let's see what's in our logs. What did we get? Side mission. Woodcutter. There we go. Forest region. The journal of a logger mentions that his colleague... Actually, no, why not just... There we go. A left, a left behind journal has an interesting final entry. Lefe said that if I help him out with some extra shifts, I could join him on the shooting range this Saturday. Now, I've been hoping to try the be beauty ever since... He first bought it. I will never afford a shkovist of my own. I don't know how he dares keeping it in the East Gate office at the lumberyard all day. At least he keeps it locked, but still. The whole mill and probably everyone in Lurberg Lurbergit knows it's there. The way he talks about it. Well then... I might just have to stop on by and get it myself. Oh, it's all the way over fucking over there. Holy shit. Okay, we ain't doing that. We're going over here. Okay, it's... Wait a minute. What's over there? Well, that's just that. Then that's over there. This is a good sized lumber yard, but the downfall it's not dry wood. Considering the wet I uh, what the wet ground underneath it, it's just gonna cause it to mold. You keep on missing, buddy. You need to try better. Now they're just following me. That should be a grabbable tree. Stop fucking shooting at me, jackass. Scare the shit out of me. Son of a bitch, I can't...
anyways. Bond owner's address and house key that let me listen to. Dr. Svante von Uller and mentions his address. Kungs. Kungs. Gerden. The sender, 1FH, did not specify any sender address. Ostovink, the 27th of April, 1971. Dr. von Omer, you finally un accepted the offer I made you to work on the project. We are grateful and we do appreciate you needed time to weigh in things before committing to leading such an enterprise. However, while you will be able to hire your team as you see fit, as per demands, you will not be surprised to read that due to the nature of your research, you will have to work under direct supervision of the FOA. I will be your point of contact and will relay requests from my supervisors. As you imagine, we count on your success. It is good news that a prize Nobel winner, that's a Nobel Prize winner such as you, will work for the greater good and to ensure our future's safety against any foreign powers. Have no doubt this is what it is all about, FH. P.S. I don't need a reminder to you that the nature of the contents of all of our communications shall to be top secret to all, including to your team members, non-negotiable. Von Ulmer's journal. Von Ulmer kept a detailed diary of his thoughts and work for m most of the 1970s, but stopped in 1980. A particular entry dated from February 1971 mention mentions, holy shit, mentions Frederick Holberg. That military official called again, second time this week. I know his name, Lieutenant Frederick Holberg. Okay, that's F.H., but nothing else. Why has he been tasked with this project? Clearly, he has no background in neurology, nor any real understanding of neural neurotransmitters and how they can be used in applied research. I'm past my original gut feeling of as often distrust for him and misgivings on the feasibility of brain-computer interfaces. I'm tempted to access this off, accept this offer. I'd get all the funding and technology I need, and if I'm successful, we can understand better how the brain works and how it can man malfunction. Potential in curing or even just understanding neurological conditions and psychiatric pathologies is real. Huh. I tried to talk to uh, M Margaret. Margareta. Is it like Margarita, but just Margareta? <laughs> about it yesterday she's of course worried we'll end up seeing even less of each other than the last year damn these guys are just assholes the fuck was dr glenner to von umer the letter is dated from April 1987 and was sent by the Department of Immune Diseases of the Stockholm Central Hospital. Dear Dr. Von Ulmer, As discussed in our appointment last week, please find below our agreed follow-up protocol with regards to the Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, AIDS. We diagnosed last month. Huh, the guy had AIDS. Interesting. As you know, there is currently no treatment or cure but we will contact you to offer you experimental treatment as it becomes available. At this stage, we are unable to determine with absolute certainty how you have been infected. Uh, he probably did a lot of anal. You never know. Anyways, let's uh, see. At this stage, we are unable to determine how you have been infected while a couple of cases of human immune deficiency virus, HIV of course, infect by blood transfusion has been recently de reported in other countries. These are very far and apart, and there is not enough evidence to establish a, conne a connection between the diagnosis and the blood transfusion you had after your car accident in 1985. Okay, so the guy had a car accident, causing him to... 
Okay, it's downstairs. Let me let me just go downstairs and let me take care of that real quick. Shush. Anyways, before I get any more confused, which is constantly. Okay, stay case of study. Oop, what we got? Yeah. I'll stay there. Hunting rifle. Who's behind the wall? Oh, more health. They had a lot of health, just not in one area. Don't you guys have like a... A... All cabinet type thing? Oh, nice. So far, what I'm getting at is the fact that they took the risk and put him into a robot body. So, he, Ulmer, might be the brain behind all these robots malfunctioning. August 5th, 1981. Met with Holbert today. Upon his request, we met here at my home and not in the office. He revealed that the National Defense Research Institute has had another top secret program. Its code name is Accounting Office East, or RE, and it's yeah. conveniently placed close to here. Hardly a coincidence, but he wouldn't say where. They've been working on prototyping unmanned military machinery in the event of biological or chemical weapons being used. I guess that holds Svardlovsky fared into matters. He called it the SM program, Combat Machines, and that's where my team comes in, he said. We are to cooperate with RE and find a way to integrate our neural links to the machines. That way a bunker station pilot could control one of these machines without interface. Can't help feeling a bit manipulated. Of course I knew they want to use our research for military purposes, but I always assumed it was for intelligence, counter-espionage, not actual weapons. Hmm. This means to stop the machines. The means to stop the machines. The keycard provided by the Soviets should unlock the outer bunker door, while von Ulmer's personal keycard will unlock the inner FOA at 53 lab. The intel states that there is a supercomputer located inside the lab that is somehow used to communicate with all the machines. But the device will release an EMP pulse strong enough to disable it. Is that a good thing? Behind their curtain. Holy shit, I have only that one bunker to go for now? Huh. Oh shit. There we go. Ok, 
Okay. I could do this down here, but I'd have to get here and I have to destroy a few machines first. Or not. I forgot that you don't need to destroy many machines to get the codes. Cool, now I got the code. Okay. So what I'm understanding is that bunker is the secret way into a more dangerous area. Is what I'm understanding of it. I completely missed that. Somehow it still counted, though. Come on, Carl. Ooh, what we got? Oh, we got a toxic. Cool. This is part of like a DLC kind of thing. Is that what these guys are? Okay, so the next part of the mission is going to be here. I could do the side mission here. But we said it was a case though. Okay, if it's here. Go from here to here to here. Depending on time. Oh yeah, that's right, this one was a cave. No. 
I refuse. I want to be somewhere where I can just walk out of. And I'm taking this one's the bunker. Yep. Just basing it off the sounds. What we got? What we got for missions? Destroy a wolf with a melee weapon? Which one's a wolf? Oh wait, no, the wolves are the four-leggeds. Okay, so with that in mind... Cool. I'll just keep that. Hey, Carl. I have to go all the way around. God damn it. This is bullshit. Hey, Carl. Oh well. Pretty sure I cleared this area out anyways. still here. I did not expect that. Should I fear you or be proud of you? In a way, I created you. Come on, Carl. I 
meant to destroy you, of course. I already had all the power I needed. But you survived. And you changed. You emerged from the water someone knew. Never mind the fact that there is water down there. Oops. Wait, you can actually go down there? Hmm. That's cool. I'm not gonna attempt it, but... I too have changed. I have matured. Congratulations. I want different things. When like I first emerged, I wanted all the things closest to me. I grabbed them, squeezed them, tested them, like a child. Behind Ingrid's resignation letter. Ingrid Graquisvist. Graquisvist. Uh, there we go. Apparently prepared a resignation letter that she either decided against or never managed to send. Dr. Ingrid Grangvist. PhD in Neurology. Assistant Director in charge of Experiment, Design, and Control. 7th of November, 1989. To whomever it may concern, please accept this letter as a notice that I will be resigning from my position here at FOA 53. The decision was forced to make today was the last straw of a series of events that broke my determination. The first phase of the human experimentation on Dr. Von Ulmer, which I strongly opposed as you are aware, was initially successful allowing us to start establishing a digital dictionary of human electric and chemical neural, neural transmissions. However, it's not. it's now been 17 days since the unexplained incident, and since then we have but reason to believe that Dr. Von Omar has entered a vegetative state with no hope of recovery. His vitals were extremely weak already before the operation, which I suspect may have been a terminal condition worsened by HIV. Please note that this is just, it's just speculation on my part. I strongly believe that, sadly, the only thing keeping him alive right now is the life support. Today I made the decision to stop the neurology research on the patient, as well as discontinue life support and cease any palliative Palliative, palliative care. Holy shit. This will be carried out tomorrow despite very strong resistance from the rest of the team. In particular, Dr. Peterson. Or Peterson. As you know, Svant and I have been very close friends for over 30 years, and I do not feel I can continue his life's work after all this. Thank you for the opportunity this has provided me over the course of the last 18 years. This team has achieved tremendous success, and I am confident that the generations to come will greatly profit from our discoveries. Sincerely, Ingrid Grangvist. <laughs> cool. He's a robot. Floppy disk. The floppy disk found in Veronica's office from the following log entries. Random notes number 147. Finally got my OS up on the gray. 
guess I should thank the guy at 56 for helping to convince Holdberg that my system was the better option over the old DNIX. Just pissed that it had to take a computer engineer with a dick to convince the big dick himself. <laughs> I told them Phoenix stands for FOA's Unix system. Interesting. Maybe I should tell them what the F really stands for dicks. First trial. Oh, sorry. What the F really stands for. Dicks. <laughs> First trial with neural data complete. Compilation tomorrow. Exciting. Exciting. Goddamn Pathfinder. We got him. 20th of October 1989. Ingrid, I hope you will find this. No, I'm she about didn't. To start the surgery, and I hope that someday you will understand why this was the only course of action. <clears throat> you and I have always put ethics first ever since our first research project together ages ago. And even in this job where we had to accept certain external decisions at times. <clears throat> but this is different, and to be honest, this procedure can't do me more harm. Uh, you probably guessed that my reasons were also partly selfish. <sighs> I wish I had the strength to tell you the truth. Wait, you got no strength. You, will find you have HIV and almost AIDS. <laughs> anyway, if this pneumonia finally wins, then I want you to remember why you and I accepted this research project in the first place and I want you to do just that to understand how the brain works and help people with mental illness oh there you are okay we're ready to start then well I have a feeling through this door it's an answer for all this chaos things furthest from me, the things out of my reach. Maybe you are one of those things. Why did you have to turn off the lights? Are you sure this isn't Resident Evil? Because it's starting to sound more on the ends of Resident Evil, but instead of like biohazards or anything like that. Here it is. My birthplace. But he is not here. I am not here. And now you should leave. I know why it is you came here. I know what it is you carry. I'm sorry, Vol- I'm sorry, Omar, but I gotta do this. They told you it was a weapon, and a weapon it is, but not like you think. They have used you because they fear me. Bitch, I fear you too. You've they been trying to kill me, and have been killing me. As if I was a disease. You are a disease. So they sent you instead. Yeah, because everyone else they died. They you to your death, and not mine. You should not be killed by them. Leave. Quickly. Okay. I'll leave. Thank you, Omar. Or at least Omar's consciousness. Go, 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 go. Shit, shit, shit. Cutscene? Seriously, was that it? 
Are we done with the story? Well, credit to all the developers for the game. Against the odds, you wake up after the explosion to find yourself a safe distance from FOA 5. You don't know how you got there, just that the war has only just begun. Um, oh, is that what the things are for? Well then. Interesting. So I was up towards the end. So, that in my history. Let's go to locations. Let's go to here. Go to fast travel. Now the next thing we do is track that. Oh wait, is this game more similar to um, like the division where it's like, oh, you just started the war. You didn't you didn't finish what you thought you were going to. This is a control point. Where's the control? Oh, right there. Right, unless this is not a control point. Why the fuck are you shooting from all the way over there? The fuck? Who was shooting me? I'm not sticking around to find out. Carl, no. Holy crap, these guys were packing.
You're missing entirely, buddy. Who are you shooting at? So my assumption from like previous and towards the beginning of the game itself that this game is more closer to Far Cry and the aspect of you just collect and you just collect and destroy enemies. Okay, so that's just more trash. Oh, I'm supposed to head towards that way. Teleport in front of me. Hey, Carl. Didn't we just turn on the lights?
There we go. <laughs> I fired and I missed. I fired and I fired again and I missed. I missed both times. I got upset. Then I had a popsicle. <laughs> run extra good. There's nothing down here. There was nothing worth going down here for. Why? Why must you do this? Police station. This is studio of Sir Nicolas Pettersson at the IJ factory outside of Estavik. Why are you not answering? We are being shot at. Our emergency alarm triggers aren't working and neither is the radio. We need assistance now, damn it. We've got millions of liters of hazardous materials out here and the wind is easterly. One stray bullet that Estavik could be covered in a goddamn toxic cloud. Do you hear me? Modem, this is Ture Ludwig 3. We know you're not answering, but hopefully you're still listening. We have pursued the enemy to the forest. Approximately one click northwest of Jordkvarns sawmill. Still no sight of the suspect. Behind! Take cover! This is Emil Sandberg for the news on SR4 November 8th. As we have previously reported this morning, it became evident that several people were killed around the Östertörn area during the night. Police is being restricted with the details, but sources to SR4 confirm that over 10 victims have been found. It is unclear at this point to what extent, if any, these murders are connected. One of the victims was found in the Lillå neighborhood in Östervik, and SR4 talked to one of the neighbors who had been in contact with the police. Erik Blum. It's hard. Even when I warned them, I saw the flying little thing going right over her house last night, you know? I told the police, but they didn't believe me. It's true. You know, Uncle Kalle was right. They did it. It was the damn aliens. Aliens. It was the aliens. It was the aliens.
Uh-huh, sure, buddy. Go wear your tinfoil hat somewhere else. I don't want to deal with it. Let's see. Hmm. I could leave it for the next one. Let's see, I'm gonna kill one wolf. At least try to. <gasps> they exited the area. Nope, they didn't exit the area. They're both over there. I think I'll leave it for the next one. So, with that in mind... Yeah, with that in mind, I'm gonna leave it here. Because I've already gotten a good chunk of it done, and based on the way that was received, it seems like I've already completed the full story. But having got it's like completing the story, but haven't completed the entire story. So the next one should be not the last one, it'd probably be a couple more. But with that in mind, I'm probably gonna do a couple more streams with that. And if you guys still want to see me stream this or upload it, whichever part of it you guys get to see it in, um just let me know. Because I'm pretty sure there is also DLCs for this. So with that in mind, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to go check out my YouTube, which is where I'll be posting this. I also put up uh, live stream updates on when I'm going to be live. Uh, whether or not it's going to be a regular uh, late stream, kind of like tonight. Uh, if it's going to be a late stream, that will be posted. If it's a normal stream, I will not be posting anything. Unless it's a cancel kind of thing, then I will be posting that. Uh, let's see, besides that, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to either po put a follow on here or go onto my YouTube channel and put a subscription there, a like if you guys like the videos I put out, uh, and a notification bell so that way you guys can get posted on future live streams content and other things that I put out if you guys want to join the discord the minimum restriction is or not restriction the minimum requirement is either you have to be following me or you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel uh, besides that uh, if you guys want to join the discord server I will invite you if you guys as i said if you're subscribed or following but just let me know on youtube because then that way i get a direct message saying like oh someone commented on the video saying it's like oh i would like to be on the discord server just let me know and i will let you guys get more updated i guess with future content ideas and such and on and so forth but without further ado have a good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon. My name's Plague Doctor, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed.